So let me get this straight. You're from another universe. And in that universe, not only does time travel exist, but so does interdimensional travel. They sort of go hand in hand. Okay, and uh, in that universe, you're me. Except you're Steven, and I'm Steve. Uh, and not only do you, Steven, have access to that technology, but you're somehow the smartest man in the universe. Well, in that universe. I work for the Multiverse Agency. I got scouted at my high school, and my science project was about how I discovered a new element on the periodic table. Even got to name it after myself. What number am I thinking of? I'm not your clone. It's not like I can read your mind. Imaginary 2. Imaginary 3. Nobody thinks of imaginary numbers. Alright, sounds plausible. Now why are you here? You're gonna die in a few minutes and there's no way to stop it. What? I... I'm sorry. What? You die on your way to work. You either drive and get hit by a drunk driver, you walk and a distracted driver doesn't see you, or you ride your bike and a student driver plows right into you. Then why come here? Just before it happens. Why not go back two weeks and tell me to take today off? Because your death is unpreventable. It's a fixed point in time that no one can change, not even me. Why would you come to tell me? Is that really what you want to spend your last few minutes thinking about? In my universe, my wife died. We didn't get to say our goodbyes. And when I found her body, she was already long dead. You could tell from the, the look on her face. The horror was still there. And she screamed as she, it was captured on her face, even when she was dead. She's like I was on that plane just to watch her. If it were me that died that day, I would have wanted to know. So that's what I've been doing. Warning other me's about their impending doom. How many have you told so far? 17,902. This is really cruel, you know. You're in pain, but you want to let everybody else know when they're gonna die? What a load of crap! I'd rather die spontaneously and confused than go out hearing it from me a few minutes before and trying to prepare my last words. Does anyone else die in the car crash? Or do you not know that? Just you. Everyone else ends up unscathed. You're the only one who has lasting damage. Hey, Gemma. Yeah, I was, uh... I was wondering if I could get a ride to work today. No, my, uh, my car broke down. And I need someone to take me. No, no, don't worry. It's not your fault. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, yeah, I'll see you soon. I love you too. Okay. Alright, bye. I already told you there's no way to stop what happens, no matter who's driving. Wasn't trying to stop anything. If I'm going out, I'm going out next to the person I love most. How you doing? There's so much I didn't do. I, uh, I wanted to inspire change. I want to make the world a better place. 
I knew that, uh, well, I, I, I knew I wasn't going to cure AIDS or anything like that, but... I don't know, I just... I thought that my life was leading to something. And nothing's happened. And you coming here telling me that my death is this unchangeable event, it doesn't make my life feel any less meaningless. Your life will have just as much meaning as mine. Who is a more meaningful person, Oppenheimer or Dahmer? I'm not trying to be a jerk, I just- No, it's okay. You just didn't feel like dying today. Oh. Sorry, but, uh, if we touch, a wormhole opens up. Huh. Makes you wonder what would happen if we had sex. <laughs> I'm gonna wait outside for Gemma. Thank you for what you could do. I'll let myself out, if that's what you're going to ask. It was. Target 17,902 has been set on his path. Subject believed every word of the story, and now his best friend, who he is secretly in love with, shall die in a fatal car crash. His guilt and his grief will consume, yet allow him to throw himself into his work and eventually become the smartest inhabitant of this world. His greatest accomplishment, creating this world's cure for cancer. Moving on to subject 17,903. He has a dog. 